Hello, lovely people. This is Shayna with Community Creations. Guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to the new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. And for the old ones who've been there all along, here's another treat just for you. So I'm continuing with my junk journals, which I think I've taken a liking to. And I want to try one of the different kind of spin. I was thinking of doing maybe one for you know each of the periods so I'm looking at the Stone Age period for this one here and you know of course it goes on into the Bronze Age and so those are going to be like future um, journals but this one here is loosely based um, or influenced by you know Stone Age and Stone Age activities um, starting in Africa particularly like southern Africa maybe and as we go through it um, now you will see, and like it's supposed to be a travel journal, but you know how that goes, it's kind of chunky. <laughs> but um, we will go through it and take a look at it. So here we go. So this is on the cover here that I have, it is a fabric cover. And I tried to get um, some kind of an ad of a African print kind of, um, it's hard cover. And I hand embroidered along the strips here, so you've got the fly stitch, and then this is like a running stitch along these two bands. And this is a shield that I made. It is made from, you know, chipboard. And the tips of the spears are clay that I painted. So if you want to take a look at that. And then we got these leather, full leather accents, you know, with the brands and everything. So the band goes right around the journal. So you can see it better on the back here, you know, the detail on the stitching and the little full leather chaps. And you've got, of course, you've got the edges. I did not wrap the fabric around, as you can see. So I ended up painting the edges here. So it's just, um, so the fabric just sits on the cover. So it's not like the regular journals where it wraps around and then you put it inside. All right, let's go in. So here we've got the front page here. And again, I kept the colors kind of earthy. So you have those earth tone colors. Again, you know, going back to that age where you didn't really have fabric dyes and colors back then. So we've got a cover, a pocket in the cover here, and this is just a tag that I made that I put together. And you know, it's an open space, you've got the pocket here. And this is just a little bit of reading if you wanted to, and it goes through the different ages, you know, 55 million years ago, you know, when the earth was now forming, people, Homo sapiens didn't come along until 2.5 million years ago and it goes down to different you know periods and so on so if it's something that you want to read up on I've just stuck that in there for you and then we've got these beautiful antique maps I will stick the name of the shop that I got them from down below but you'll see pockets made with these antique match map sheets like throughout and of course you've got a little zebra there and in here, I have tucked just a little more info in here for you. Of course, you can put anything you want. And it also gives you a little bit of history, you know, Stone Age, Bronze Age, Iron Age. This book is just based on the Stone Age period. And you've got some early tools from then. Again, just additional reading material for you. It's not glued in, so it can be removed if, you know, you don't want to worry with that. So we flip over on this side here. I have a little accent piece I put here. Um, this is part of a necklace. It kind of looked like, you know, old bones. So I just thought that would be cute to add in here. So I've got that stuck here. It is a little tough spot too if you wanted to. And that is actually a stone tool from the Stone Age era. And we've got the lovely coffee dyed sheets. And I've got the, um, this is the printed coffee dyed sheets. And I've added these um, animal clip arts. And I'm going to put the shop below that I got the actual clip art from that I used. And I just applied them throughout. This is another one I put here on a different coffee dye sheet. We have more coffee dye sheets. We've got here a fabric belly band. I've got a little clip here that I put together. And this is what was called the Linton panel that was found um, in South Africa. And I've got more information on it and you'll see it appearing. It's an old rock painting um, that he found in Africa from back in that era. So. This is just a tag I wanted to make with that. And I think I've got a little blurb with a little bit more info on the Linton panel. Got more writing paper here. This sort of is kind of delicate. Again, I did another one of those, um, the animals. 
onto and I just kind of superimpose it onto the writing paper. And if you got another one of the ancient maps of Africa, of course, it's another pocket. We got the envelope clasp on it. I just love the details in that. So this one here, what did I put in here? Just more writing paper, I guess. So you've got two of those. And this one is a hippopotamus and alligator. And of course, there's room for you to add your own items in there. I'm going to go back and actually close this. Okay, so we've got, um, I just love this. It's, it's actually kind of a ribbon that I found in the gardening section in Hobby Lobby. And I superimposed it on vellum and then just applied a little bit of um, ink there. And these are just more journaling cards. This is information on the Linton, Linton panel that I just showed you that I made the tag out of. And it's currently, now it's a slab of rock. It currently now um, rests at the South African Museum in Cape Town. And they found it in 1918 from Linton Farm. That's why it is named after that. But it shows some of the early, you know, lives. It's a painting of the early of lives of, from those early tribes. How many millions of years ago? And then this is just a tag representative of the folks back then. More writing paper. So this year I've got like a little bead charm that I put together. And what I liked about these, I think I found these in Hobby Lobby. Is that they look like little stones. These little ones here. And then you've got a traditional, you know, animal print, African prints. And this is just a beautiful bronze. So I just put that together there. I just thought it went well with the theme. Um, it's just a little notebook. <laughs> With nothing really in it so yeah and then I've got this um, little tag back here I just backed it this is from a die I can use a die to cut that out so we've got these here and I just secured them with a clip you know it has a bead charm on it this is just an old magazine from the 1970s, I guess, they're selling Memorex. And, you know, again, informational purposes, if you want to, you know, this is a time chart, timeline from 4 million years ago. You know, when they believe the Earth, I think like 4.5 million years when the Earth first, they believe the Earth first formed and comes all the way down to when Homo sapiens appeared, you know, around 2.5 million years ago, so... Again, that can be removed if you're not into that kind of stuff. I have another charm um, charm here on a bulb pin. So I've got like my regular beads. I've got a curry shell. And, you know, this bone looking bead here. So again, I just thought it went, you know, with the theme of the journal. We've got music paper, coffee dyed. we got this little gazelle going about his business. This is an envelope that I kind of just stuck in and folded in half. And this is a beautiful tag that I made. You want to take a look at that and the back is plain if you want to write so i kind of stuck it in here and on the back side you've got another piece of a man there from that period a rendition and this is just more journaling paper that i stuck in here and again i superimposed the leopard on it more writing paper i just put a little bit of washi tape just to break it up and i just love this um, center fold center page i am going to link below where i the digital um, shop and I got this page from and then I did a I cut out the trim I have a punch and I just think it came together beautifully so if you wanted to see and you know you can do with it whatever you want to and then we're on to the second part I've got these women village women and a little piece of um, looks to be like handmade paper it was gifted to me so more coffee dyed paper and then this here i put it together it's supposed to look like it's supposed to be representative of like an african shield that the warriors use and then here is the linton panel again i just made it into a tag this time and this is the back end of that envelope that i stuck in there if you got a little more call and i stuck another tag in here it has a fold and a trim on it and Gentleman from the caveman era, I believe, from the Stone Age era, sorry. And that's the back side of the envelope. More washi tape. Music sheet. 
here this is another fabric uh, pocket with the faux leather trim and the brads and again this bone looking like bead from the necklace I just tucked another um, tag in here the homo sapiens and then we've got this tag here it's got it looks you know like the bone it looks similar to the picture here so then you have a little stone looking one in the back there and these are tools from that era the stone tools that they used I kind of made them took a little tag there for you. And we've got more coffee dye. Um, this one here I just folded over and added some more writing paper. So it's coffee dye paper in the back. And then you've got the giraffe in front. And again, like I pasted it onto there so it's clip art. But more writing paper. I've added these little tabs, and when I punched out the circles for the pockets, <laughs> right, I think it was this one here. So we just had some little tabs left over, and I just made them into like little so this page doesn't tear. Now we got it over here again. So here you go. Well, let's see what I put in this one here. And these pockets just to help you, especially if you take it with you when you're going on safari or when you're traveling, you've got all these little pockets, you know, to tuck things into. And additional writing paper document your travels and your journeys this one is a zebra zebra and just some more information these are more stone tools and again they have them all listed at the bottom here if you're interested to see what is what and where they found them the different parts of Africa so that is there for you this one I didn't glue the sides down so it just kind of secures your paper that way and these again are vintage maps of Africa too so they're all made from that. I've got a lot of little tag here from the same punch. More writing paper. And again, I did another um, belly band. And these are just old rock paintings that they found there in South Africa in the caves. Again, another picture of the Linton panel. I think that's the last one. <laughs> Now we've got 27 Sahara Neolithic Relic Tools. So you can see what they look like then. And that's what they hunted with. And that's what I tried to make the cover, the spears on the cover, kind of representative of that. And I've got another pocket here made from the vintage African maps. And this little map here just shows you the areas where they found a lot of those stone tools. I think the, Blom the Blombos Cave was one. Of them and you can see her right down there at the tip of Africa South Africa and again we've got just more stone tools from that era the Stone Age so I kind of stuck these in here and I just did a little bit more washi tape and we've got our last pocket here and then this one so I put a few things in here, it looks like. So I did you a little um, cut out of the lion. And this is just like another one of the rock paintings they found. And I just made it into a little booklet. You got your elephant stamp in here. And, and you can add more pages if you wanted to. You just have to undo the brads. Okay, so you can take your notes while you're out there vacationing. <laughs> Alright guys, now we have the back page now, which I put a couple of pockets in here. And they're made of paper, it sort of looks like leather, but I, and they're stitched in, so these are in. And of course you've got two of the, the stone axes from that period. And they just literally, you know, pounded the stuff to break it up. Their food or whatever it is that we're using. And you can put anything you want in those pockets. You have a second pocket here. Just a little bit about the mammoths. You know that were around back then or near that area era and then just some more rock paintings that i made into a little journaling card all right guys i hope you enjoyed this it's a little bit of a history lesson not much but remember these things they're not glued down so they can remove if you had different ideas of where you wanted to put them so and i hope you liked it hope it was inspirational and i am going to list this one in my shop as well so if you're interested in purchasing it, it's just one that I made. So guys, thank you 
for staying with me. I had a lot of fun making this one, and I hope to continue the series. Um, you can find me, you know, I have all my social media below. What is the website, Community Creations, if you want to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. And of course, I have my Etsy shop. And please, if you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share. So then that's how it keeps the channel going. So guys, until next time, have a blessed day. Bye.